Welcome to Arsenal Gaming. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. Ian here as we're going to play through the original Walking Dead series here on the channel. This game means a lot to me because I'm sure as a lot of you know that are friends with me in real life that I absolutely love the Walking Dead series on television and uh, equally as much I enjoyed these games so I thought it would be a cool time to pepper these in between our Halo playthroughs. So let's do this. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from Macon then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell. The whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. Hitting the fan right now. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. 
Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more Here we go. if I do say so. Oh, shit. This other time... <laughs> Like our boys gotten killed. Hey. hey, officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. Maybe it was a fucking zombie. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. I need to drag myself out that window. I need to drag myself out that window. Go get that shotgun. The officer's shotgun is over there. Why would he have needed that? Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Officer? God damn. Officer? God damn. Let's get these things off. Let's get that shotgun. We're gonna need it. Officer? Oh shit. Holy shit! Get away from me! Oh, yeah, of course. Don't make me do this! 
Oh, we're gonna do it, all right. Anybody? I wonder if anybody's home. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Mm, heck no. I'm definitely gonna go inside the door. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Come on. I was gonna say there's hand handprints in the blood. And footprints. And now I've got blood all over me. Let's check out this note. The Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Definitely take the radio if possible. We're gonna check everything we can here. This place has been ransacked. What's that Just about doing? anything worthwhile is gone. We were thirsty, so let's get that water. See, so that's where we came in. Maybe there's something on there. Three new messages. 
messages. Message 1, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so bit. much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. So Message the TVs. Two, left at 11.19 p.m. Better shut up. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Walk this way? No. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Man, that's brutal. That shit hits different when you have a kid of your own. Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. I assume that's the babysitter. Oh, man, Clementine's got a hammer. It's hammer time, boys. Thank you for that. Brutal. Man. Hi there. Guys had to kill two zombies in like did you kill it? Ten minutes. Uh, yeah. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so too. Certainly, You've certainly. Been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know. Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. 
We can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. Stay near me, and she takes off running. That's a typical good kid for you. Let's go take out the gate here, get this open. See if we can find a car. Shit. Are we going to die? I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I... It's not really what you want to tell a kid, but. Stay hey. down! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that! Okay! Oh shit, you're not one of those things! Neither of us are. Oh, damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. I saw a lot in the forest, but that was a while ago. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Don't wanna lie. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were. Oh, I think we shit. found Chet. It's Chet. Let's go. Get to my car. Go. Should have shot him, man. Should have shot him. I love the comic book graphics on this. Say hi to your dad for me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Take care, you two. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No. You're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. 
Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Uh, How'd this happen? Car accident. That so? Where are you headed before the car accident? Uh-oh. Just uh, out for a drive. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. How's it fill up with mine? We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. Hmm. <laughs> Trying to be nice. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I'm doing my best, guys, not to talk over the dialogue. <laughs> Hey, get up. Ugh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're gonna go with fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Where do parents name their kids Duck? We're from Fort Lauderdale. We were on our way back before things up and went bananas. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. I'm trying not to uh, talk too much to overstep on the dialogue here, guys, so forgive me if I seem quiet, but I do want to try to get my two cents in where I can. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Seems like those two are getting along. Go talk to Kenny here. Hey there, uh, Kenny. 
So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe, sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Katya's good with her. Let's go check out this fence, see where these guys are working here. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Sean's still working on that fence. Sean's still working on that fence. How are these things to drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... Do you, uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. Hmm. Can we go in there? Up the steps? Nope. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well... I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just... just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Hmm. 
That's funny because uh, we're uh, making barbecue tonight, so sounds really good, actually. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. All right. I bet they wants to go check back on the fence. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Sometimes, it's kill or be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm uh, not too close with my family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. To the barn we go. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! Gotta say the kid. Oh, <laughs> 
Old man is not going to be happy. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help! I thought I could help them both. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! Got that ride to make it if you want it. I was gonna say I saved your kid. You better have a ride to make it. I think we're out of gas. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! We're trapped! Time to go! No! 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 I was about to say, who the hell had a gun? We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Whoa, chill the fuck out, lady. We're just people trying to avoid those things, just like you! Don't come in here and swear at me. I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy <laughs> shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody's doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. 
They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten! Please stop this! It's upsetting him! Oh, I'm upsetting him! Upsetting is getting eaten alive! Sit down! That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bit- It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> Jesus! <coughs> <Come and die>. <coughs> <coughs> You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! Time to go! They heard the shot. They're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? For whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> was he the one bitten? No. Don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes. We're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there, behind the counter where the pills are. What are we looking for? We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. You got it, boss.
You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Check for batteries first. That's, no batteries in this thing. That'll do it. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Dumbass. Too. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she's not bright. We're not saving her if shit gets hit uh, bad. <laughs> Doesn't know what double A batteries are. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. I can tell him all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him or us, huh? Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doc. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. It would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. It's a combination lock. Let's head back inside. Okay. I think that's our boy right there. No, Pinned down I'm at the sorry pole. To hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Here's our battery. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hun. I don't remember them very well. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Hey, Lee. 
really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so... We ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? I don't know. Well, wouldn't they be at their house or somewhere like that? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, I'm not sure they made it. We passed some houses on the way in and... Things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. Lee. You got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah? We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice to kill John. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. I mean, the only other choice was after we helped Duck was to try to go help the other guy, but I don't know. I didn't, I didn't see him getting out of there by himself. The How's kid and Kenny, I'm that is. I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. He didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? I think that's our parents. Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh... We were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. 
Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him now. All right, let's go in the office. I don't think the parents are gonna be in here because she said they threw them out. Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Everyone out there seem alright to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Let's check out this pallet here over here. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that.
Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. get hungry a lot. Okay, good to know. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? No kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies? My friend Alfred has a peanut allergy. But you cool? I think so. Okay, here we go. kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Yeah, because I, uh, killed oh. my, uh, ex-wife's lover? Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. find your bandage. Ah, oh, the first aid kit. How about that? Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Try turning this thing on. That's what I figured. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out in the street. back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. 
can't lie to the little girl. <laughs> Gotta be honest. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Can we give Clementine some food? Where is she at? I get some rest, hon. How can I with boy. those things out there? It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Give her the battery. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Come on, I already gave her the batteries. That dialogue should not have been an option. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. All right, let's go see if we can't get the uh, key. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes, I do. Let's have a look around. Okay. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. Our brother? You wouldn't need long, right? Nah. Son? Just a few seconds. I don't know. Brother, maybe? maybe there's a way to Thinking distract brother. them and buy you some time. Yeah, we use a remote. At the TV store. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. Okay, if anybody has programmed a universal it. remote, you know how much of a pain in the ass that I can be. I all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. Not enough. I can't reach that brick. I can't reach that brick. Okay, so we can't get the brick until we open Doc, the door. You want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. 
We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. <laughs> I can't reach that brick. So can he reach the brick? We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. We know he works here. Hmm. So it is Lee's brother. I can't reach that brick. It's kind of crazy he won't admit to that. Alright, well I think we need to go back inside because uh, I don't That's see it, anything left inside. to do. Okay. Hey, Carly. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. I better get I thought back we to had batteries yep. for that. Thanks, Hang on. Away. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. Nutri bar. Yes. Hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> She's so pissed. <laughs> Something with that car 
for a bit. Look for that fellow lurking near the front. He's not going anywhere. Ow! Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Yeah, I don't see any other option. We're breaking this fucking window. How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Their groaning attracts the others. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what <laughs> I have in mind. We're gonna use the pillow to muffle the glass with the Pistol or there's a pick in the truck. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I'm done trying to punch out windows. Huh. So can we use it on this zombie? Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. Awesome. Ah, <laughs> uh, we'll use the spark plug. Ninja what now? You picked up that spark plug to shatter that window, right? What the hell are you talking about? Let me see the spark plug. Inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. <laughs> that could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Be 
careful getting up close to these guys. I can't always cover you. Alright, let's see if we can go take out this side here. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Yeah, we don't want this to go to hell, if you know what I mean. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. You might want to break through that board first. Get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told well, you I said shit. go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Damn. Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know, that was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. She's got a point. They're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Then shoot her. Huh? I've seen what hell is like and it's coming back as one of those things! Shoot her! Help her out here. You're insane! Just take this thing! Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. 
Okay. Yeah, I'll do everything. Goodbye. Goodbye. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end this episode here. We will catch you on episode two. Thanks for watching.